Hey guys, Boldzoid here, and this is going to be a quick video where I break down the PCB of a GTX 1080 and also show you how to power mold the uh, power mold it because there's reports from all the reviews that apparently power limits are really really low. So you know, for anybody who wants to overclock the Founders Edition, here's how you can get around Nvidia's power limit without doing BIOS molds or anything, which will take some time. And this also power uh, power limit mod will be reversible. It's not you know, it's not gonna destroy your warranty. Uh, though I don't know if the RMA Center will take it after you blow out the VRM. So first, let's take a look at the VRM because that's obviously the first thing we should look at. So uh, I'm not really sure how I'll go about doing this, but let's first address the uh, core voltage. So we got uh, we got an inductor here, we got an inductor here, inductor here, inductor here, inductor here. So that's five inductors, and then here we got a missing one. So that's the sixth uh, inductor. So this would have been a six-phase VRM, except we're missing an inductor at the very end, and we're also missing two capacitors. So yeah. So basically, there's a whole phase, this whole thing here, this would have been a sixth uh, VRM phase, that's just gone, so I think it's obvious why it's not there, NVIDIA needed to save some money on producing the PCB of the GTX 1080, so they left out the extra VRM. Um, other things they left out, there's one MOSFET missing, well, one set of MOSFETs missing for every VRM phase. So every phase currently only has one working MOSFET, which are these black blocks here. And you might be like, wait, there's only one uh, MOSFET. No, this is a Dr. MOS or some fancy name. And basically, this is a circuit that integrates both the high side and low side MOSFETs into one, uh, you know, uh, IC, one chip right here. So this can do 50 amps uh, output current and 30 amps input current. So the high side and the low side are the low side is 50, the high side is 30. So basically you got 50 amps per phase because obviously there's only one of these per phase. And uh, that gives you a total power output of 250 amps, but this is at room temperature. So at higher temperatures, you might have a much lower power output, which explains why Nvidia's power limit is so ridiculously low. Um, but as I said, I'll be bypassing that later on in the video. But basically due to the low power throughput of this VRM, I would be very careful once you do the power mod because with with VRM temperatures because there's a good chance that if the, the thing gets too hot it'll just burn itself out and obviously that'll kill your graphics card and you'll need to send it into RMA and they might not accept it after you've done the power mod. Uh, memory VRM uses the same uh, you know same MOSFETs as the rest of the card. Uh, so again, 50 amps out, 30 amps in. Uh, I think that's completely overkill for the memory uh, memory phase, but I think that's only because Nvidia buys these things in bulk, so it doesn't make sense to use a different MOSFET when you know they get a bulk discount if they just use the same thing over and over and over again. It also makes tooling in the factory simpler. So yeah, you get a pretty overpowered memory phase and a yeah uh, V core VRM. Uh, the v, uh, the V-Core voltage controller is on the other side of the PCB, and I will not be taking a look at that thing. It's a new voltage controller from UPI, never before used on any other GPU. There is no data sheet for it. There is nothing I can tell you about it, as far other than that it can produce six phases, as we can clearly see here. Also, these are the driver ICs, if anybody's wondering what these are. So those are all just drivers. There's no doublers. This is a true five-phase VRM. Um, and so I think I've said everything there really is to say about the VRM. You get a five plus, yeah, it's a five plus one design. There's a voltage controller separate for the memory. Uh, and yeah, uh, you don't have a ton of power, uh, current throughput. So there is a good chance that with a power mod or voltage mods, this VRM will go up in flames. So let's get onto that power mod, um, which I need to zoom in for. And the power mod is all about this component right here. Basically, this is a shunt resistor, and this is this is used to measure power by measuring the voltage drop across it. It is a very, very low resistance resistor. Uh, this one seems to be 2 milliohms, so when you have like 100 amps going through it at 12 volts on one side, you'll have 12 volts on the other side, you'll have like, say, uh, 2 or 4 millivolts less. I'm not going to do the actual calculation, those numbers are wrong. And basically, th there are... Basically, there there's a comparison done on the difference in voltage across this uh, component here, 
And based on that difference in voltage, the GPU calculates the power draw because it can calculate the current going through it because the voltage drop across a shunt resistor is uh, directly related to the uh, current going through it. So there is a really easy way to skew the way like you know the the power draw readings where you just uh, apply short out the shunt resistor. So the best the, the least risky way to do this would be to just apply cool laboratory liquid ultra and connect both uh, both you know sides of the shunt resistor together. And basically by putting cool laboratory liquid ultra over it, you lower its electrical resistance and that'll raise your power limit. Uh, why do I recommend using cool laboratory liquid ultra? Because you can remove it with isopropanol when you break the card and want to send it into RMA. So you know it's the least uh, it's the easiest to reverse of the different power molds. So yeah, that's really all there is to say about this PCB. It's really not very, it's not great by uh, any means, but it's very easy to power mod. I can't do voltage mods on this thing. And I would really appreciate if somebody who has a GTX 1080 would tell me if this, uh, the what I see this is, so I can figure out if it's a memory voltage controller and pr potentially provide some voltage mods for the memory, uh, the memory uh, section of the VRM. So yeah, um, thank you for watching. Uh, if you'd like to see me analyze some other PCBs, drop a comment down below. If I can source a picture, that, like if Tech Power Up has a picture of the PCB that's like up to my required, you know, quality, then I'll do an analysis of it. Uh, if I, I and I can also try source the PCBs elsewhere. If I can't source the picture, I'm sorry, I can't do an analysis. Uh, and if the PCB is, you know, depending on what kind of PCB it is, I'll also provide volt mod, like to, uh, how to do volt mods on it. This card, I don't do any volt mods because I don't have enough information to provide volt mods, but I will always provide as many mods as I can, uh, assuming that, you know, I can figure out how to do them just from a PCB picture. Uh, so, yeah, so thank you for watching. Uh, there won't be a stream on Wednesday. And, well, there might. But that, that's up in the air. Uh, so, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, like, share, subscribe, and have a nice day. Goodbye.